Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. This is going to be a cloth pad tag. Um, this is going to be a repeat of the first cloth pad tag that I did back um, in December 2018. Uh, or that was about a year or so into my cloth pad journey. Um, now um, it's been like 16 or so months from that video. Uh, we're going to do an updated version here today. Um, I have not watched, rewatched that version or rewatched the December 20, 2018 video um, so that my answers today uh, or currently will reflect where I'm at now. Um, so let's get into it. Question number one is my favourite style, um, which is an all in one style. Um, every pad that you see in front of you is um, a all-in-one style. And um, so there are obviously other styles out there, um, but these are all the ones that are in my collection. Number two is favourite brand. Um, this is a really hard one. I have done a top five brands. Um, but I am a big fan of uh, all the makers in this pile but um, this, these Venus pads are the one that you see probably a lot in my uh, stash videos and in my prep pad videos and in my what I wore this month video and um, I yeah so that is that one there so <laughs> Um, my favourite colour is uh, probably this kind of, on this back of this, is this kind of teal colour. Um, and ironically enough, this kind of hot pink corduroy is um, pretty impressive too. Um, if you haven't seen these ones being worn in a while, it's because these snaps are broken. Um, so once I get those snaps fixed, they will get back into rotation. Um, but kind of technically it's more of a colour combination that works for me um, and um, this one here is obviously backed in that teal as well but for argument's sake I really like this colour print so yeah it's probably a colour combination the print colour combination I am not really a big fan of pink however this um, Hello Kitty one is just such a great one so again colour is like a whole wide variety of things but generally teal. Um, question number three or four actually we're up to number four now is favourite prints um, as you well know um, uh, these um, three here are in high rotation and I literally bought this one because it was Hocus Pocus and of course I have two copies um, of this little mermaid pad um, the shape and the print are pretty cute and um, this one here, which is an evil queen, um, due to obviously the Maleficent movies, there is a lot of Maleficent merch everywhere, but there's not really a lot of evil queen merch in spite of um, Snow White movies being released. Um, so um, this is from Go With Your Flow, and this is still one of my favourites, but um, they're probably my three favourite prints um, currently. Um, number five, question number five is favourite length, um, eight inch for liners of which these two um, are eight inches for moderates it is this, this one's ten inches and this one's ten inches so for these ones are all ten inches so for moderates I prefer ten inches and I prefer this twelve to fourteen inch for overnights. Uh, favourite top fabric is a kind of this cotton, um, or, but this OBV is actually I have come around to. Um, I didn't expect to like OBV as much as I do, but I probably would still have a preference for cotton in general. Um, also, I've tried this uh, Sherpa, um, which I didn't expect to like either, but I do so uh, generally. I, but generally, I do have a preference for cotton. My favourite backer is corduroy, which these three, I do have more corduroy, these are just the ones I bought out 
for this video. Um, corduroy is the best backer. Um, it doesn't move. Uh, a lot of people have do have slippage problems. Um, you will predominantly have a lot of slippage problems with uh, PUL backed um, pads uh, or laminated cotton pads. They will move on your underwear. That's just the reality of the situation. So a lot of people who buy um, those like Amazon um, Chinese cheapy versions actually have a problem with slippage. It's one of the reasons why they're not so popular or they don't get liked as much is because they slip around in your underwear. Um, but you can get uh, fleece to a less extent um, and this kind of cotton backer that will move around on your underwear. But corduroy just stays where it is. Um, number eight is favourite overnight. Um, I bought obviously two of my favourite overnights out with me, which is this um, Blood Spatter one by Keller Bear Creates and this Hello Kitty one from Go With Your Flow. Um, both are Australian makers actually. Um, number nine is Favourite Out and About. Um, so generally, as you will know, I will wear period underwear and a menstrual cup while I am out and about but generally when I am out and about I prefer between 9 and 10 inch uh, in this versatile pattern of like kind of quite up and down these two are quite representative of that this one here is just that little bit more fla flared as you can tell but because you're walking around and you're so um, along with uh, menstrual cup underwear is just this kind of straight up and down shaped pad. I don't particularly have a favourite pad per se to take out of the house. So, but generally they would be 9 or 10 inch moderates. Um, question at number 10 is the favourite panty liner and that of course is this 8 inch Evil Queen by Go With Your Flow, it's cotton topped and corduroy backed. Question at number 11 is a favourite detergent um, which is, um, this is another Australian company, it is called Dirt Laundry Detergent. Um, you, this is a aluminum um, a bottle um, that is refillable, um, so it's got dirt all over it because it's usually outside. And um, this, so this is the one that I use. It works. It's pretty fragrance-free, which also I like. Um, I was a uh, Biazet user. I've been using Biazet for quite a long time, probably about 20 years. Um, but yeah, so uh, stepped out of my comfort zone. I also always used to prefer powders over liquids until I got this. So. This is currently what I'm using, this is currently what I like, so this is what's going on with that. Um, favourite stain remover, which I'm currently out of, which I have to go get, is uh, Vanish, um, which is the pink bottle, but the Vanish remover. Um, and um, a stain stick, I still have to use the uh, Hannah Pads stain stick. Um, but I do obviously rotate through them as I'm taking it, but as a soaker, vanish. Um, number 13 is storage solutions. If you've watched my videos on my storage solutions, you know I use these Sisterna um, boxes um, for all of my pads. Um, I don't actually have any cupboards or drawers, so if I had them, I'd probably just keep my pads in an underwear drawer, it's not that big a deal. Um, so, uh, question number 14 is place to purchase. Um, all of these on the table have been purchased from Etsy. Um, that's predominantly my uh, where I purchase my cloth pads from. Um, I think unfortunately there's been a few issues with Etsy changing a lot of the fee structure for sellers. Um, so a lot of the sellers probably are going to be migrating to other shops. I will probably um, migrate with favourite sellers rather than stay with a purchasing platform. So 
Um, I went with Etsy. I went with Etsy initially because it was a convenient kind of catch-all. Um, eBay and Amazon tended to sell those really, really cheap and nasty pads. Um, and these are all predominantly stay-at-home sellers. Um, so generally Etsy was the where I... And Etsy has some more interesting patterns as well. But now that I have probably favourite favorite, um, makers at the moment, um, I would probably migrate to a different sale platform um, rather than stay with Etsy. Um, so my question number 15 is my favourite things about cloth. Um, they uh, are vastly more comfortable and they rarely leak um, and they do not smell. So uh, also I do not get contact dermatitis or need to wear plastic and they are environmentally friendly. Number 16 is favourite accessories. So favourite accessories are a um, bunch of wet bags. Oops, that's natural cup. So as you know, I have a variety of wet bags um, and a cup um, pad wrappers. Um, in a variety of sizes, obviously that would suit my needs. So generally they're really, really useful and I definitely recommend at least pad wrappers and, a, and at least one wet bag. Um, so that is all there is for this 20, April 2020 version of cloth pad tag. Um, the questions will actually be down below and I'll link the 2018 version. Um, please give this a go and upload your uh, answers as well um, if you are obviously a user of cloth pads. If you are not, get on to that. Um, so try this cloth pad tag and post it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the day. And I, of course, will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.